Here's a job I just did and I thought I'd show you what went wrong with this fridge so that maybe it would help you guys when you're trying to diagnose what's wrong with yours. This is a commercial refrigerator. It's got a counter on the top, but it runs the same way a regular residential standard home refrigerator will work. And uh, you're going to find the same parts inside. So really don't let it throw you off. And uh, it wasn't really easy to film here, so I used um, some photos and video. So here's a quick list of things to check. Again, if you're not getting any power, check the breaker or the switch itself. Some outlets have a reset switch on them, or you might need to go to your breaker box and flip it to reset it. Make sure the uh, outlet's working. Here, you can see these fins are dirty. You're gonna to wanna to clean those. There's some on the inside that don't get dirty, but these are the outside ones. So you're gonna find all of these parts um, either at the bottom or the back bottom of your fridge. So clean out the fins. Is the uh, fan working? This should be spinning right here and that draws air through the fins and cools, it transfers the heat, exchanges it. Back here is the compressor and this should be running. It should be making a noise, not too loud. It sh you should uh, feel it vibrating. If that doesn't feel like anything's happening inside, uh, it could be bad. This right here is the problem on this one. The relay switch was bad, which caused the compressor not to be moving at all. If your compressor is running but not very well or it kind of stops after a while, you may need a new capacitor. And that's right here. Let's say, for instance, everything I just said is working. It seems fine and it's still not getting cold. Well, you might be have a gas leak. The Freon might have leaked out. So you can unscrew this copper pipe it's just like a bike pump, but you should hear gas leak out. It should uh, leak out pretty good, not a slow, dead hiss. If nothing's coming out, then you might have a cracked pipe and all the Freon came out. If all of those things are good, then you can look inside. Obviously, check the dial, make sure it's set at a cold temperature. Also, you want to look at the fans and fins inside the fridge. These shouldn't be full of ice or anything like that. Sometimes these fin fins can build up ice and stop the air from moving. Obviously, if the fan isn't moving, it's not going to push it around, and it will cause the fins to build up ice. Also, while you're in here, you might need to know the model and brand of the fridge. So there's going to be a sticker inside the fridge with all that information. That way you can relay it um, to a parts supplier if you need to order parts. So going back to this compressor, I'm going to wiggle off this relay, and you can see it got fried. I was able to order one overnight online for 50 bucks, and uh, it's an exact match, which is what I like. Before you put the new one on, clean these three connectors. Use some sandpaper or anything to... My relay was uh, had some plastic bits melted on the connector, so I had to sand those off. In case you're wondering how to read the part numbers of the relays, you can see here this is a 3ARR12 PM22. If you're having a hard time finding the exact replacement for a relay, you can get a universal one, but you're going to need to wire it up and it's going to be a little bit more tricky, so just be prepared for that. Well, hopefully I helped you diagnose the problem with your fridge. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer. And I know I haven't discussed everything, but the things I have talked about, I found to be the most common issues. So good luck with your repair and have an awesome day.